Ospensky writes in the psychology, identifying, or identification, is a curious state in which man passes more than half of his life. He identifies with everything, with what he says, what he feels, what he believes, what he does not believe, what he wishes, what he does not wish, what attracts him, what repels him. Everything absorbs him, and he cannot separate himself from the idea, the feeling, or the object that absorbed him. This means that in the state of identification, man is incapable of looking impartially on the object of his identification. It is difficult to find the smallest thing with which man is unable to identify. He also says, when we begin to observe emotions, particularly, but really all other functions as well, we find that all our functions are accompanied by a certain attitude. We become too absorbed in things, too lost in things, particularly when the slightest emotional element appears. The process of working with our identifications, of weakening them, is known as separation. It is so called because we have to separate our sense of self from our identifications. Properly, only the observer can be called myself because it is the seed of permanent I. When we are in a quiet situation or meditating or doing some energy work, this separation comes quite easily. It is obvious that the observer is I and everything else is not I. The reality of our being comes when we are stuck in a line in the grocery store or in a traffic jam, or caught in an argument, or making jokes, or being cynical with friends. What is our identity in these moments? With identification, we take something besides the observer as our identity, whether it be external, like a car, a partner, a profession, or internal, like a favorite negative emotion, a pet theory, or some talent we have. To separate simply means to place one's identity in the observer and not in any of these objects, feelings, or sensations. If there is a strong identification, this shift of the location of identity needs preparation. We all know our recurring sets of troubling eyes. We can prepare for these by creating new attitudes for each group of eyes based on the work. This will create a struggle when this group of eyes appear, a separation, and this leaves a space where the work of dividing attention, of being aware of the present moment, can take place. <laughs>